Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here and I came across a piece of Olympic news and I'm going to cover it anyways because one, it actually is Olympic news. Number two, it's actually kind of funny. Japanese Olympic pole vaulter, here you go, Ogata. I probably said that wrong, but it sounded good. Pretty much <laughs> missed his Olympic dreams because he has too large of a penis. All right, as you guys can see from that snapshot, when he went to jump over the pole vault, he went to vault over it, his penis caught the bar and knocked it off. And he ended up placing 21st instead of placing much, much higher because that was his last attempt. It would have placed him very, very well, apparently. But instead, it resulted in him placing 21st, uh, which, you know, again, way, way below where he should have been. So for the first time in human history, a man's penis size has prevented him from doing well in the Olympics. And I thought I would go ahead and uh, get ahead of Elgin intensity on this one because I know he's gonna jump up and use this in his defense. And Elgin, I need to remind you, dude, Asian penises come in all sizes. They range anywhere down from Elgin intensity size all the way up to Hirito Ogata size. So just because he has a big dick doesn't mean that you do. So don't think that you can use that as a defense. But seriously, guys, I guess this does kind of take the fun out of our stereotype. The Asian dude's dick was too big and he lost his place in the Olympics because of it. Seriously? Did this just really happen? I guess it did. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.